Hello everyone, welcome back. Got a display stand for you today. This is usually for 112 scale, but we're gonna try it out with our 118 stuff. This is the HK28 Luminous Display Stand. <laughs> All right, so let's quickly take a look at the packaging like we always do. You can see here it's just a, a, a plain a brown box. It was double boxed and this box was wrapped in bubble wrap. It did still take a ding here, a pretty hard ding, um, but everything is okay. I did uh, open it up before I started this video. Now I ordered this from Gundamit Toys. It was pre-ordered and Gundamit or Gundamit or Gundamit, however you like to pronounce it, they always throw in a pretty cool little uh, transformer card. This is the first Starscream I've ever got. Um, it does have a QR code there if you're interested in joining their Discord or looking them up. But it's nice, they always throw in. It's a pretty nice little card. Um, and Starscream happens to be one of my favorite, or if not my favorite, uh, Transformer, though I don't collect Transformers now. But it's always nice that they throw that in. They also always throw in a pack of stickers. Um, Autobot and Decepticon stickers. I have used these on something before. Um, I have a, quite a few of these now, but it's always a nice little touch that they add these to your order um, just as a little bonus from ordering from them. And everything's always packaged really well and you can track it. I do um, like ordering from them. Um, you also can build up credit and points. And I think I did get like $1 off on this um, because I had some points kind of built up. Um, now, I pointed out that ding there because that ding must have been so hard. It was on the, the, the outer box and it was on the inner box. And I'm going to open this for you. Hopefully I can keep it on camera. The box was not taped or anything. Um, but you can see, I think you can, oh, that that ding went all the way through um, and even got you know through to the, the, the uh, styrofoam here. But nothing was behind it, so there was no damage. This is how the, the item comes. This is an insert here that you can pull out. And there's a couple pieces behind it. So now that I've got that out and I've showed you the box, I've shown you how it, how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and get it all set up. So next time that um, I come back, you'll see it all set up how it's supposed to be. Now, I, I should say before I... I move on. So I did pre-order this. It was $21.99 um, pre-ordered, but now that it's in stock, it is up to $32.99, I believe, or $31.99. So now that it's in stock, it is a little bit more expensive. Again, this is usually for 112 scale, but I usually the 112 scale diorama kind of pieces, usually they work for 118. So that's what we're hoping here. Um, it's not a big investment if it doesn't work. Um, but I do believe that it will. All right, so let's get to it. You know, I thought I better show you guys all the parts uh, before I put it together. Now, there were no instructions here, but it does look fairly simple. Um, there are two articulated, you know, flight sticks. There's the tube, the top of the tube. I believe these are sort of like possibly respiratory sort of type devices. I'm not quite sure. And then there were these two little containers. Now I did take off the bottom. It does light up. Looks like it takes a couple of AAA batteries. Luckily I have a few. I did unscrew it already. And that was when I decided I, I should probably show you guys this. Um, but we're gonna try to get it all together now. Like I said, there's no instructions, but it does look pretty simple. The only thing I'm, I'm kind of curious about is what these are. Um, but we can always go and reference the picture on the Gundamit website. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, now I'm going to put it together. All right, guys, so now I've got it all put together. And it does have some options for you to kind of play with. Um, it did come with two articulating arms, like I showed you. I think you just use the one that best uh, fits the height of the figure that's inside of there. Of course, if you have a figure just standing up, you don't even need one of these. I think this is meant to have possibly so it won't fall over or to mimic something floating. And now that I have it out and it's set up, 
Um, it does just sit on the top and that just sits right on the bottom. Um, it does give you some options also for these tubes here. There's four holes there uh, for tubes. I think that is to mimic maybe if you're pretending this is water, if this is a healing tank. This could be a holding tank, like a cell for like a high powered supervillain. Um, this could just be a medical scanner. Maybe they're scanning you, you know, wherever your imagination goes with it. Um, but these tubes here, um, they do have a sort of a connector. I don't think I'll be using these. There's, I think there's six or seven that it came with. They just pop in and out just like this articulating arm. There's a hole there that you can put either, um, articulating, uh, flight stand in. I'm going to use the longer one, uh, because I plan on using 118 figures in here. But I don't think I'll be using these tubes. It's a nice touch, and I could see if someone wanted to pretend that there's this is full of water or some kind of a liquid, um, and you can use those as a respiratory device. But I think this is probably how I'll use mine, just like this with the figure inside. Um, let me show you the tube a little bit close up because the tube is really the highlight of this. Um, it does have a texture here, and it has some words at the top. It says energy bin computer control center something else here energy bin but you can see it's got a nice texture all this sort of when you hit it with the light it does kind of illuminate really well i've got my fingerprints all over it now but it is pretty nice you can just wipe this up and shine it up it's a nice sturdy thick plastic and it just sits right there this is the front because there is a little switch there this is the sort of the on off switch it's this is probably the the drawback to this thing is it doesn't have a traditional on and off switch let me put the top back on we'll try to light it up for you guys it's pretty easy to to light up and turn on it's a bit difficult to turn off so what you do is you just grab that and you stick it in there and you push it down now it'll turn on but it's very difficult to get that out and even sometimes a couple times now i've taken it out and it's still on so it's like a depress a button in there that you depress and you let off the you let off you take your foot off the gas so to speak um but the light up effect is really nice so let's let's do it let's not push down too hard there we go let me turn off the lights here so you guys can see it but that thing is really nice it I'm not sure how it's turning up on the camera but it is like a blue light um, so it's very space agey. That's why I think now it's more of like a jail cell. At first I thought it was like a healing tank, but maybe ma now more, it's more of a jail cell. Um, uh, but again, it, you could, it could be anything you want it to be. Now it is static. So it just sits there and it looks purple when I turn it that way, but it is actually blue, but all that texture on the glass, it really does highlight it. It's a very simple yet you know pretty pretty nice um let me turn the lights back on and this is the part that's pretty difficult is to get that out um, and i don't have much nails but you do kind of pull it out like that and you can see it stayed on and i'm not sure if the easiest thing to do is to just push that like that so that's how you turn it on and off. I guess I could have turned it on with that in the beginning, but I think this was meant to be like that and like that. They do give you two of those kind of on off switches, but overall, I think for 20 bucks, that's a pretty good deal or, you know, $22. Um, that's a pretty nice, you know, stand. Um, it's got the light up effect. It just takes a standard AAA batteries, two of them. You can adjust it for the height or not at all for the type of the size of figure that you have. This is going to look really nice in like the medical display that I've been kind of putting together. Um, hopefully I can show that to you guys soon. Um, but I, at first I had thought of this as a, a healing tank, like a back to tank kind of thing. But now that it's lit up and everything, I kind of feel like it's more of a jail cell. But again, to each their own. Um, but overall, I think it's a good deal for, for what it is. Even at 32 um, is what it is now on Gundam, uh, Gundam.com. I don't think that's a bad deal. Um, it's nice, you know, and if you've got the money, if you have two or three of these lined up, kind of like um, 
in the Mandalorian when they found all those tanks and all those sort of clone uh, Snoke's floating in there. This is kind of one of those, it was what I had envisioned at first, but I see some real possibilities for this. All right, so I'm going to take some pictures now, show you guys, um, you know, how I plan on using it. Thank you for stopping by. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,